I am Felisa Summons, Project Coordinator at Polygenics Consulting. And at Polygenics Consulting, we do a wide range of DNA testing. Polygenics Consulting and the Jamaica Summons recently entered a partnership. Can you tell me more about that partnership? Sure. It's a great partnership. It's where we are aiming to offer um, Jamaicans more opportunity to get a uh, peace of mind. And so we're giving away one free DNA test per month. Based on experience, most times when persons come here, they already have doubts. And once you have doubts, you're seeking peace of mind. And that's what Polygenics aim to give our clients. So tell me about the process. What does one need to do to acquire a paternity DNA test? It's pretty simple. It's easy as one, two, three. Um, we need the child and the father's sample. It's um, cheeks sample. So what we'll do is swab the cheeks of the father and the child, and we send that off for testing. Can you guarantee accuracy? Because it's already a sensitive case where you know daddy doesn't know or mom doesn't know. So how do you ensure accuracy when you do these tests? Oh, that is of utmost importance. Um, so when the lab is testing the sample, it is done twice. And so we ensure the highest possibility of accuracy. The clients, they don't have to worry. They're getting accurate results, 99.99%. How long have you been doing DNA testing? Well, I've been here um, with Polygenics for quite some time, but the company is doing this over nine years. Okay. And in your time here, have you seen any surprising expectations or revelations? Let's say, for example, um, a child may have resemblance of the person that actually got the, um, you know, being the father, and then when results come, is a different person. Have you seen any well, that? Tiffany, that's actually a good one. Um, based on my experience here, I've learned not to compare um, daddy and son or daughter based on looks. The truth is in the results because sometimes they do look alike and unfortunately it comes out that he is not the father in some cases. So are there any emerging applications or tools that you use to achieve accurate testing? All right, so the lab that we utilize, it has the highest accreditation or lab is overseas. And so with that said, we know that they're using the most top-notch, as you would say, um, equipment, and we don't have anything to worry about when it comes on to accuracy. Have there been any particularly emotional stories or cases where um, genetic testing revealed information that changed people's lives? Definitely. A DNA test, Tiffany, is a life-changing situation because you might come and you're, you have it in your mind saying, oh you, yes, this is my child. As we would say in Jamaica, cut to fit. But the result may turn out that the child is not yours. And that's where Polygenics comes in and we offer a counseling service because we know it can be life-changing. And I was just about to get around to that. So the counseling services, do they come right after or do, is there like a simulation process to see the person actually needs it? Well, what we do from the get-go is that we vet the situation. So simple question we may ask in every session is if we should expect any violence. Based on the response, we will um, know how to proceed when giving out the result. If it is that the client needs support 10 years down the line, we're there for the client. So it's like a lifetime support that we offer. Oh, that's nice. Have you ever had clients that come more than one time? 
Def definitely, <laughs> definitely we have returning clients because what we do here, um, we go above and beyond for our clients. So it's not really, yes, we do business um, for money, but the money is not the most important thing. It's people over profit. We want to ensure that our clients are comfortable. We want to journey with them until they have that peace of mind. And, and it seems that the company overarches, you know, helping people and, you know, by extent helping Jamaica. Because do you think you're helping Jamaica now by doing this stuff? Definitely, definitely. We know we have persons out there who can't afford to get a paternity test done. And so that's the reason why we aim to um, collaborate with the STAR to provide one free DNA test each month. With that said, we will be giving away 12 DNA tests for the year 2025. What are some of the misconceptions that people normally have about DNA testing? All right, so one is that if the father is unavailable, they believe that the test can't be done, but that's not so. What we can actually do is do the DNA test with a relative of the father. Another misconception is that persons will have to wait until the baby is born. What we do here at Polygenics Consulting is the prenatal DNA test. And so mommy can do the test as early as seven weeks pregnant. So it's pretty simple and it's safe for both mommy and baby. We take a blood sample from mommy and we will swab the father. Another misconception is that blood will have to be used for the testing. That's not the case. We can use cheek sample. It's just as accurate as blood and it's quick, simple and easy. Some people don't know as well that they can also do it without cheeks on what about the hair oh so for the hair we consider that to be the discrete sample so the hair will definitely um you'll have to get that from the root and we have other discrete samples such as the toothbrush the semen and blood on gauze and several others mm, okay. and and the person don't even have to know about it not at all but we encourage um, transparency and also for the discrete sample, it can only be used for personal testing. Once you're doing a legal test, a third party will have to collect your sample.